Hello everyone, welcome back to the ICD Soft YouTube channel. Today we're tackling a critical topic, cleaning up and securing a hacked WordPress website. Picture this, you've invested loads of time, money and effort into building and developing your website, traffic has started to rise, and all of a sudden you get slapped with a deceptive site ahead message in your browser. Actually, in most cases we've seen, regular website visitors are the first to report such issues and that's definitely bad for any business. You're not only losing money due to the downtime that you experience while fixing the damage, but your company's reputation takes a hit as well. We've picked WordPress as our test case, as does the most widely used CMS, not just in our hosting environment, but on the internet in general, accounting for 45.8% of all websites online. Unless a clean backup exists, this task can appear daunting, but it's actually pretty straightforward with a modern CMS. Luckily, with a web application such as WordPress, you can simply reinstall it without losing your content. This is the fastest and the most effective method to bring your site back up in a clean and secure state. We use it every day on all but the most specific and niche cases. The first step is to save your WordPress configuration file, your images and personal files. Everything else would be reinstalled. The wp-config.php file contains the basic configuration for your site, including the information necessary to connect to the database server. When saving it, open it and inspect its contents for anything suspicious, like a very long first line containing unusual characters. As a rule of thumb, if your text editor has an unusually long horizontal scroll bar, the file that you're editing is likely to be compromised. If that's the case with your wp-config file, copy the database connection strings to a clean version of that file from a fresh WordPress archive. Your images and personal files should be stored in the WP content slash uploads directory. Ideally, there should be no PHP files at this location. Unfortunately, some plugins and teams may store some of their files in subdirectories there, making the task of correctly identifying and removing malware even harder. An easy way to list all PHP files in a given directory is to run the following command via SSH. You can find a link to our manual on connecting to your account via SSH in the description of this video. This is the actual command, and if you receive no output, you can safely copy the uploads directory. Otherwise, you should review the identified PHP files manually in order to see if they were placed there by a harmless plugin or by an attacker. Before you delete anything, you should first get a list of your active plugins. You can either do this from the WordPress dashboard or via SSH. If you can access the dashboard, go to the plugins, install plugins menu, and there look under the active column. And you will see a list of all the plugins currently installed and activated on your website. These are the plugins that you would have to reinstall. Alternatively, you can obtain that list by running the following command over SSH under the folder where your WordPress installation resides. The theme would have to be reinstalled as well, and you can find the active theme via the WordPress dashboard, appearance menu, themes. There, look for the one with the active label. To obtain this information via SSH, simply run the following command. So now that you have a list of the plugins and theme you would have to reinstall, it's time to save the uploads folder. You can download the entire folder locally to your computer via FTP with an FTP client such as FileZilla. You can find setup instructions in the description of this video. Or, if you're an ICD Soft customer, you could move it to your account's private folder on the server so you can move it back later on when everything's ready. The wp-config.php file and the uploads directory are usually all that you need to preserve from your current WordPress installation since most of your site's data resides in the database. In some cases, the database needs cleaning too, but these are relatively rare and not as trivial to secure. By now, you should also have a list of your active plugins and team so that you can download their versions from the official vendors. Once you have saved your WordPress configuration file, your uploads directory and whatever personal files you might have in the folder where WordPress resides, it's time to delete everything. You should be able to do that using the file manager of your web host or via FTP. Step 3 is to upload a new full package of the latest WordPress version. You can obtain WordPress from their official website, go to wordpress.org slash download and download the latest version.
Once you have that archive, you would have to upload it to your webroot folder again using the file manager of your web host or via FTP. Next, you'll have to unpack the archive and most hosting file managers provide that capability. When the unpacking completes, you should make sure that all the WordPress files and folders are located directly in your webroot folder and not in a subfolder. In case of the latter, you would have to manually move them in the correct place. You can see that our files have been unpacked in a subfolder called WordPress, so just select O and then press the Move Selected button. Navigate to the location where you would like to place them and press the Select button. As you can see, the files are now in the right place. To avoid security issues, it's really important to delete the WordPress installation archive and I'll also delete the empty WordPress subfolder. The last step is to copy over the previously saved WordPress configuration file and your old uploads folder. Of course, you would have to overwrite the existing instances that were uploaded as part of the new package. I just moved the configuration file and now it's time to move over the uploads folder. You can see that it's now in the correct place under the WP content directory. For ICD Soft customers, we have some really good news. You can perform all of these steps with just a single push of a button. The WordPress manager in the control panel features a tool that would reinstall the WordPress core files without losing your website content. Let's see how it works. Go to the WordPress manager in the control panel, press the manage button next to the compromised installation, scroll down to the tools section, and that's where you will find the option to reinstall WordPress core. Click on the tooltip and you will see this important information. This tool allows you to reinstall the WordPress core files without losing your website content. An automatic temporary backup will be created before the reinstall process takes place. So you just need to press the reinstall button and the WordPress manager will do the rest. It will reinstall the WordPress core files while preserving your uploads folder. Finally, it's time to reinstall your plugins and theme you were previously using. If they are publicly available in the WordPress repository, you could install them via the WordPress dashboard or by using the following command. Of course, you would have to adjust this command to contain the names of your actual plugins. At this point, you can test your site. Ideally, it should work just like it did before the incident. In the odd chance that it does not, you could contact the support team of your hosting company. If you're hosted with ICSoft, you could submit a ticket or send us an email. You can find our contact details in the description of this video. When a WordPress site has been compromised, we assume that the attacker knows its administrative credentials. This is why you should review and update the passwords for all the administrative users. You can easily do that via the WordPress Manager, WordPress Administrator section. If you're not hosted with ICDSoft, you can use the WordPress dashboard, Users, All Users menu. You should also double check for any unusual users created around or after the attack. We also encourage you to update your WordPress control panel password, as well as the passwords for all MySQL users. You should know that following a password change for your MySQL user, you should also update your WordPress configuration file accordingly. Make sure to also check out our video on the best practices to protect WordPress from hackers and implement them to your own website. Lastly, since WordPress installations are often hacked via outdated plugins and themes, you could add yours to our WordPress multi-manager and set it to receive email notifications whenever there are available updates. Once you receive a notification about some available updates, you can easily apply them directly via WordPress multi-manager or from your WordPress dashboard. Remember, cybersecurity is an ongoing process. If you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover in future videos, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more valuable content. Thanks for watching and stay secure online.